everybody, and welcome to, uh, well, an un a very weird video, but uh, it seems to be the weird videos are uh, seemingly to be the norm at this point. This is going to be literally a build for almost every overclock in the game. Uh, we won't be covering them in the video, but down in the description or the pinned comment below, uh, you'll see a bunch of builds. They'll be mostly featuring uh, Carl.gg, and uh, at the current moment, we're going to be going over my generalist builds and base builds and some builds that require a little bit of special note. So let's uh, let's get on going to uh, base builds. Starting out, we have a Leadstorm powered minigun. Uh, really. Base builds don't really feature any overclocks, so there's no, like, really, hey, you pick this overclock over this or anything like that, or you pick this secondary because it goes well because of this overclock. You pick whatever the hell you want because base guns really don't defer too much. And this is the base build for a uh, Leadstorm-powered minigun, or if you don't have any overclocks. And this is the base build for Bulldog if you don't have any overclocks. Uh, Bulldog is has been changed for some weird reason, and now it's just better to take double ammo because you meet a lot of breakpoints whenever your damage is 60. And with the hollow with the hollow points, you meet even more breakpoints. Uh, for uh, burst fire and thunderhead heavy auto cannon, there's a lot of preferential mods in here, like T54, or yeah, no, not T5, uh, T4 is a preferential so is uh t5 at this point so is t3 the other two are kind of just set in stone of what you want to do with it which is whatever and then for brt depending on what if you want it for single target or swarm clear it's very it, you can build it out whatever you want also i prefer hollow point bullets over expanded ammo bags any day of the week i know you get like 72 bullets but that 40% damage bonus is quite significant when you're doing a uh, single target damage. Uh, next, we move on to scout with GK. GK is pretty freaking boring, and that's that's generally what you want for... Oh, yeah, we forgot to... Here, let's, let's go back. Uh, as for grenades, honestly, I think the sticky is the best one. Infer our incendiary grenade is the worst, and cluster is uh, okay. Pick whatever one you want, it doesn't really matter. It, I mean, it will, but stickies have more uses. Uh, Deep Core GK, it, again, it's a pretty boring weapon. This is the base build that I would uh, uh, work with it. Of course, you can always do like recoil dampening or high capacity mag in T3. And T5 is also whatever you want because there's no overclock to synergize well with stun. Other than that, it's a basic bitch weapon. Uh, moving on to M1 Classic. M1 Classic is the, like, most controversial, or not controversial, it's the most, it's the one weapon that has the most builds for being base. This one, I will defer to, like, hey, you can build out this, or you can build out that, or you can, you can do quite a lot of things with this, and really, all that matters is, uh, T4 and also T T1 with uh, with how you want to build it. As long as you take armor break as well, that's like the one thing that stays the same. And then T3 is whatever you want as well. Moving on to uh, scout secondary, Zukovs. Zukovs don't really aren't. I would not pick Zukovs. All right, don't don't pick them up. They're they're garbage without overclocks. Overclocks makes them actually uh, decent to very very good. But as is, there's, there's nothing really special that they do over the shotgun. And the shotgun is just a lot more reliable than these things. But this is the base build if you want to bring them. And then for the shotgun, there's a, there's some ways that you can build it. You can give it a little bit of an improved blast wave. You can give it some tungsten code and buckshot. You can get super blow through rounds. It's all basically generally how you want uh, without overclocks on any of your weapons, white phosphorus shells pretty much is almost useless unless you're dealing with Mactera. But of course, you have a primary for dealing with Mactera that's a lot more accurate than this this thing. 
in any case, that that's going to be a jury rig boomstick base. Next is a driller's weapons, and with flamethrower, flamethrower is pretty basic. In T5, uh, can be basically whatever you want, depending on if you want to deal with swarmers or not, or if you want to deal with, uh, you know, other things, really. There's no synergy with sticky flames in here. Sticky flames is pretty bad starting out. Of course, it's like, what, 15 per tick, and with sticky fuel, it's not. So you could definitely do that if you really want to do, like, some weird thing with base uh, flamethrower. But just take double ammo and you'll be fine. Also, T1 is whatever you want. Not really too much to talk about. Cryo cannon, cryo cannon, the whole tier tree doesn't matter. Literally, the only thing that matters is T5 cold radiance. That's the only thing that you need to take on cryo cannon and you need to use it quite well the whole thing is you need to get very close to enemies to get it to work but once it does it's pretty strong so you can ignore like any cold in any tier and just use cold radiance of course if you want to be ranged you can you know start taking cold Next is Driller Secondaries. Driller Secondaries are really, really boring. There's a few ways you can build them, but really there's just, like, it's basically the same. This is if you want to use a fire for your Stabata, and then if you want to use, like, cold, you go that. That's basically it. It's going to be Carpal Tunnel syn uh, Syndrome without uh, any overclocks on it, but hey, might as well. And then Experimental Plasma Charger, this would be my base build that I would use it. Of course, you can always take ammo in T1, and that's generally what you want to use it for if you want to use Thin Containment Field. But there's also another build that you can use, which is Flying Nightmare. And Flying Nightmare is quite good. This meets basic grunt, uh, grunt uh, breakpoints without them being frozen. If they are being frozen and you have brought the cryo cannon, you could definitely just take one ammo and still make it, but you won't be killing basic grunts if they haven't been touched before. Still, Flying Nightmare is very fun. And next up on the list is Stubby. Stubby has a few ways to build it out base. I forgot to talk about any grenade. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Who cares? Let's just move on. Uh, most grenades, okay, so let's talk about grenades for a little bit. Most grenades don't matter at all, like, uh, the difference between IFGs and cryos is, like, preference. If you take pheromones, you might as well just take cryos. Uh, with drillers, you literally just take axes. There's a case to be made with, uh, neuro, with neuros, but in all honesty, axes have a lot more uses. And with NG's grenades, NG's grenades are the only ones where every single one is viable, and you pick you pick whatever you want. All right, we, we got done with grenades. Sweet. And then uh, uh, gunners' grenades, who cares about what you take? Stickies or clusters is, is my choice. Incendies don't have too much use and are only really good for dealing with swarmers. Other than that, they have anti-synergy with cryo. There you go. Gunners' grenades uh, summed up. Take stickies. Uh, clusters are also good. All right, let's move back on to stubbies. Uh, Voltic SMG. There's a lot of ways to build out Stubby. But, well, there's only like two ways. It's either upgraded capacitors and you build out like this, or it's hollow point bullets and increased caliber rounds. And that that that's it. That's literally all the Stubby builds that you're ever going to get. Uh, and this is just base. Next is Warthog. Warthog doesn't really change. T3 is whatever you want. Other than that, uh, T5 is also whatever you want. Other than that, you take ammo or you can take pellets if you really want, if you don't like that 42 bullets. It's okay. A base bulldog I definitely won't pick over a base stubby. Next is base PGL and base breach cutter. Uh, meeting the breakpoints for uh, grunts, you need to take one damage in T1 or T2. It, it, it'll probably be this exact thing. Armor breaking or incendiary doesn't really matter. I I would take pressure wave over incendiary, and high velocity grenades don't matter in this tier unless you're building out a certain overclock, which this is base, so who cares? Uh, nails and tape is the best one out of all these. Of course, you can always take concussive blast because concussive blast is also decent. But 
Uh, next is T5. T5 takes spiked or proxenades. There you go. Next is Breach Cutter. Breach Cutter is definitely the better out of the two out of PGL and all this. This is how I would build a Breach Cutter, though you can take the Potato Peeler if you want, which is Armor Breaking in T4. Uh, taking Triple Line Split in T5 makes it not really care about terrain all too much, though you do lose out on some damage. But with Breach Cutter, losing out on some damage isn't the most, isn't the biggest thing in the world. But this is how I would build out a uh, Breach Cutter. And moving on to my Generalist builds. Starting out, we'll uh, look at uh, Gunner's Generalist build for Lead Storm Powered Minigun, which involves uh, Lead Storm with this specific con configuration. And the reason why I take T4 damage is because 14 is the first place where you will get 2 damage instead of 1 out of 15%. All in all, the rest is pretty bog standard, and also taking uh, magic bullets is recommended, though you can take electro mindlets with this specific build, or you can take hollow point bullets, but really expanded ammo bags is what you're going to take. This is like bootleg AoE, and this is also probably bootleg AoE, but slightly better. They're both okay to take with uh, lead storm powered minigun, and sticky grenades is just like the better choice. Moving on to the generalist build for Th Thunderhead is really this, though you can go, uh, you can do like Carpet Bomber, but that's a more specialized, but will work on any general mission besides Dreadnoughts, which we do have a Dreadnought specific build. You can also take Combat Mobility, it's okay, not really that bad, but this is the general build for uh, Thunderhead, and then Burst Fire goes in this. I refuse to take ammo bags because I'm a freaking filthy man, and this would be your general build for uh, uh, Bulldog if you're taking it with leads, with uh, AC as well. Uh, 60 damage, again, it meets a lot of breakpoints, so you don't really need to take damage again. There you go. Uh, next is the Dreadnought builds. There's some classes that have Dreadnought builds and cl some classes that don't. Scout and Driller are the two classes that don't necessarily have a Dreadnought build, and their Generalist builds will work out for any mission that you could ever think of. Though, NG and Gunner have uh, ways to get full damage, and they're like the DPS class of the Elimination uh, missions. And this is Big Bertha with Armor Breaking is generally the, the pick that I take for uh, Dreadnought missions. And then this is if you want to bring out Lead Storm Powered Minigun. Though you can definitely take armored, uh, armored rounds or hardened rounds if you want, but uh, it's not recommended. Taking clusters on Dreadnought missions is definitely better than not. Because uh, you won't be using grenades for the Dreadnought, you'll only be using it for the waves in between. And then taking full damage uh, BRT is uh, the way to go. It's just a fun, it, you, you make the Dreadnought go bye-bye with this. Moving on to Scout. Scout's generalist builds basically are involved uh, embedded detonators because Ooga Booga, they're really freaking good. But Bullets of Mercy is really just the thing that you want to use on this. There is a case to be made for AI Stability Engine, which you would take probably the same like that for AI Stability Engine and one of these three. But in all honesty, I don't like AI Stability Engine. It takes out the fun out of shooting a gun. With Zukovs for both uh, Hipster, or not Hipster, for M1 and... Uh, MK, you can take Embedded Detonators with this specific build, or you can take Cryo Mindlets with this build. Both are quite good. Moving on to M1. Also, you can make a case to be made uh, to take Special Powder. Special Powder is always good. And taking Jumbo Shells with this build will make things go bye-bye real quick with cryo grenades or something like that. You can also take a uh, white phosphorus to pair well with bullets of mercy. In any case, moving on to M1. M1 classic with embedded detonators is my go-to with there, but you can also take uh, cryo mindlets and work and use this specific build to deal with uh, 
most things. Uh, blow through with cryo is very, very powerful. Uh, it's yes, but if you want to do that, you would probably take uh, basically that. You would just switch out one tier, but you can't really uh, one shot things with your focus shots anymore. But if you're using cryo, it doesn't really matter. And then, of course, it's the same. If you want to take anything, it's the same conversation that we had with uh, Zooks and Boomstick. Next is Generalist uh, Driller, which there's a few there's a few things with the Flamethrower that you can take. Take this build with uh, Face Melter, or you can take this build with Sticky Fuel and do a general uh, okay job at it. You can also take uh, Heat to... Uh, get larger targets on fire faster so you can use your secondary uh, a lot quicker if it is sabata if not just take unfiltered fuel and you'll be fine next is uh sabata with the flamethrower basically it's just that i don't like clicking a bunch but you can also do oversized magazine with this build and of course if you're using cry cryo you go uh two on each of those tiers but, oh well, there's also uh, Explosive Reload if you want to uh, take it, which is just double ammo and probably damage or something like that. Who who knows what these two tiers are? And you would also take high-capacity magazines. Uh, next is the Cryolator. Cryolator with Toon Cooler basically is just the, the shit. Toon Cooler does a lot of things that uh, Cryo Cannon needs, and taking T1-2 negates all all tune coolers uh nerfs and this is the build that you want to be using with it there's also like a case to be made for like snowball ice storm and all that but i don't consider those generalist and then the experimental plasma charger generalist is this specific build of course we talked about uh flying nightmare in the base build so if you want to go uh, look at that you can next is engineer and as much as people will probably say this is a uh, this is a, a not a generalist build it i i consider it, it it is it's very good for most missions the only time i would not take deep core pgl with fat boy is in radioactive exclusion zone and this will be your other pick for breach cutter though uh fat boy is bay fat boy is is love and then most people would consider uh, MPA over mini shells, which would be I, this exact same build. It's did not change. Why did I? There you go. That's the mini. That's the mini shells that we all know and love. And then that's the that's the magnetic pellet alignment that most people will take over mini shells. In any case, that's a uh, that's that's every single uh, class. There's some LMG things because people have that, but that'll be covered. That'll be covered right now. Two turrets is better than one turret. Uh, with quick deploy, it's 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 good. With ammo, it's even better. Uh, stun or hardened rounds are your go-tos. And then just take defender. Hawkeye is uh, pretty trash for what it is. There you go. That, 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 that's my opinions on the turrets. And in any case, that's going to be it for today. You can check the pinned comment or the description below to get a build for literally any overclock in the game. Uh, there might be some that don't have a secondary or primary to them, and that's because it, they're just like, hey, you can use whatever the hell you want. There's going to be some, like, Trank Rounds that ha don't have that, and then some, like, Heavy Hitter that uh, you want to go Cryo for. So, uh, you guys have a, a good night. This was, a, this was yes.